The problem with my um, external hard drive and uh, basically what had happened is one of my um, so I had it partitioned, I had it in two different bits. One was used for time machine and the other one was for storage. Similar to kind of this really where I've got storage and I've got time machine. Now the problem I had was the time machine bit became corrupt and it wasn't, it wasn't mounting so it was always showing as grey. Uh, unmount that just to give you an idea so as you can see now it's grayed out that's how it appeared and no matter what I did I just couldn't mount it I tried even deleting it um, it wouldn't delete nothing was working basically so right at the end I bought a new um, hard drive and um, I just tried lots of different things to erase my old one and repartition it again that was really really difficult so I thought Okay, just to stop someone else having this problem because I searched online and I just couldn't find anything, I'll try and kind of explain the different things that I've done because I think right at the end I found the solution. So hopefully I can stop someone else from having to buy a new hard drive when it's not necessary and also I can come back to this video if, if I ever have a problem in the future. I don't do many of these, I only do them whenever I come across something that I couldn't easily find. And I think it's going to be helpful for other people. So let's get started. First thing is first, um, if you if you have the same problem, you can go into Disk Utility. The way to get into Disk Utility is you can go into your Spotlight and type in Disk Utility and double click on it. Or the other way to get into it is through Finder, Application, Utilities, and then there is Disk Utility within the Utilities folder. So there's utilities and within that there's disk utility there. You can double click on it. Um, you'll get into something like this. Depending on what, what you see, you want to be able to basically have this option, show all devices. And if you, like me, have a corrupt one, I mean, it's not corrupt now because it's, it's, it's the new, uh, new hard drive that's working. But if it was greyed out, then the first thing I think you should really try is mounting it through disk utility. So click this button and see if that works. For me, with my old hard drive, that just didn't work. Um, so then the next thing to try is first aid. Again, I tried this and it just didn't work. It kept on coming back with error messages. If you tried all of that and nothing is working, the, the other thing to try is terminal. So you can go into terminal, similar, to disk utility by typing in terminal in your spotlight. Um, the other option is again find a application utilities and in that you will find terminal. So yep you can double click on that. When it opens up um, the first thing you want to try is this. So I will put these in the description so you can copy and paste them over. So if I go into that and if I get rid of the space and if I press enter, you will see that it's showing me all of the different drives in my uh, in my Mac. So the one that I want to use is, uh, or the one that I had the problem with was the external hard drive. And in this one, you can see the external is here. So it's an external hard drive. And I've got my storage, um, you know, and then the two different bits. The other one is, it says container, but actually the other one is um, my time machine. Um, the key thing is, I mean, the, the reason I've done this is to try and identify the external one and copy and paste this. This bit here is really important for, for everything else that we do. So... You want to copy this, yep, copy this bit here. This is the thing that identifies your disk and terminal. So I'll copy that and I'll leave it in my notes just as an example. Um, and then you can clear this by just typing in clear. There you go. And then the next thing to try is this. Now I'm not going to press enter. Um, but you want to type in disk util unmount disk 
force and then the bit that you've copied and pasted so let's go and do that here I won't press enter I'm gonna delete it I'm just gonna copy and paste it over just so that you can see so yep please make sure you get this part right yep so you you are trying to basically force unmount the external disk so if you press enter now um, it will start working and then eventually it'll come back and tell you that it's either successful or unsuccessful in my case um, it wasn't successful and this is where I couldn't find any other option and right at the end I got frustrated after spending so long um, that I, uh, I decided just to go ahead and buy a new one and start over again and then I realized later on that I didn't have to do this so uh, I'm hoping this is the bit that, that people will find useful now the next bit to do is here so if that didn't work I mean if that worked perfect go back into disk utility and then run a first aid or try mounting again if that hasn't worked then try this bit here now so you want to first put in this code sudo l-s-o-f-l-g-r-e-p yep, with a space in between so just exactly how I've got it here like I said I've put it in the description so you can um, yeah, you can you can copy and paste it over and then space and then paste over the the name of your disk and when you've done that so I'll, I'll press enter here it's not a problem it should show you it will it'll ask you for password so put your password in and then basically I have nothing yeah so it's showing nothing here but um, if you had processes that were using um, the disk then that would show so I think uh, let me let me show you again oh yeah I unmounted it didn't I so yeah let me type this in again and you'll see that time machine is using it this might take a few seconds um, okay that that hasn't come back with anything so it's just not started yet um, but but what I was gonna say is um if so if you do get it come back with something and and it shows that some some process somewhere is using it then what you want to do is and this is the key bit this is the thing that really fixed it for me is um have a look at kind of what it says and then open up activity monitor and I, you can do it very similar to the previous stuff either through spotlight or through uh, application um, utility and then activity monitor and then what i did was i went into disk I sorted this process name in alphabetical order and I found the thing that that was outstanding so just say for example it was this AKD yeah and then I went right clicked oh sorry I pressed this X button yeah I stopped it and um, it gave me an option around do I want to kill it basically do I want to force stop it and I pressed yes so I forced stop that process, run this again and it came back blank and when it came back blank I was able to go back into disk utility and then um, I was able to mount it, run first aid, erase it and do everything else. But that was the key bit, I had to find the process that was stopping it from mounting so it, it looks like it was just stuck in some sort of process. Hopefully that's been useful for everybody, like I said I will put these codes in the description so you can use them. Thank you.